it's kind of hot today and it's Sunday, which means tomorrow I have to work. We're going to look at the list of Cube Ultra Hardcore players. <gasps> Hello everybody, my name is Dream Assist and welcome to my channel and we are doing something a little bit different today Apparently it's a Dark Phoenix ad here, which you don't want to see that uh, But yeah, we're doing something a little bit different today As you can see from the screen, we are at the cube SMP QHC slash EVO wiki page uh, Wiki is not the old name, I think now it's called the cubemc.fandom.com I'll put the link below And this is essentially the fandom page for the Cube MC team, and this was actually developed by a friend of mine, Burning Age, and I was an admin when this first created. In fact, I was one of the few initial people who started, you know, with this. I'm not the first ones, but I was definitely like I think the top six. I think so you can see my profile is over here, Green Mateus, AK Green. I'm an admin. I surprised I'm still an admin. I actually haven't touched this for a very very long time. You can see like my progress here. I think the last progress I did was. 2015, so that's like four years ago. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> so I had my webcam on, which I don't know is that a good thing because my face is horrible. I did, I just showered, so my hair is messy, and I also went for a facial, which means that pretty much what they did was they lift up all my acne up. So it's very obvious, but you know what? I feel like I need to see my face. I feel like my face is needed for this. I don't know what I'm doing, I can't, I can't see my hands. So the reason why I'm back here is because the cube the cube group has have is currently well they're currently posting their cube UHC season 20, which kind of a surprise because the cube actually went on a hiatus. And for those who doesn't know what the cube is, they are a group of Minecraft YouTubers who do you know UHC it doesn't be UHCs and then they move on to SMPs and they had their own fandom, you know, they weren't too huge like million subscribers most of them are like 100,000 subscribers or maybe less they have a quite interesting community because unlike most Minecraft SMPs which really focus on builds and creativities a lot of them are more focused on community building and that's something which I really like and one reason why I decided to you know go into um, SMPs initially the Diamond, SM Diamond Society SMPs because of the cube actually after the conclusion of Season 1 SMP, the cube group kind of slowly dissolved. You know, more and more you know, crew kind of left the cube. And pretty much um, eventually people just lose interest in Minecraft. It's quite quite understandable, you know. Um, I also stopped Diamond Society for a bit. So yeah, the, the group kind of just dissolved. But then recently, like, the posting is still ongoing. The cube group decided to do a UHC Season 20. So it's kind of a surprise for former fans like myself who kind of accepted that cube has gone and long forgotten and this page was supposed to be done speaking of this page so this fandom page was actually created during the, the peak i guess of the popularity of the cube and i was one of the first few admins who actually managed the group managed to cube things and you know, a lot of the rules a lot of the regulations a lot of the updates and changes to it i have a big hand of contributing i guess in fact, I think the name Cube MC was my idea. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna pretty much take a look at this page, which kind of brings back a lot of memories for me. But we're not gonna amend too much of it because um, the reason why I got this idea was when I think one of the former admins, DBT Hardy fan, a friend of mine, he was he admit he amended something, and I received a notification which. I haven't received for quite some time. Like I said, I actually stopped updating quite a while ago, even before the cube, you know, go in separate ways. So he started amending it, I started receiving notification and it kind of brings back some memories. So I was like, hey, you know, why not just take a look and see if we have I guess our profile. So we have hey guys, I'm still new to Minecraft world. Well I'm not that new anymore. I guess we can edit that. And recently obsessed with the cute UHCs. Well, I was obsessed. You know, there's a lot of change I need to do. <laughs> I'm an expiring novelist. I thought it'd be nice to hold my writing skills on my Facebook like, site. I'm actually quite embarrassed with my writing skills here because I remember reading it like uh, two years ago and I was so embarrassed with all the grammar mistakes. You know, English is my best language, but it's not my my greatest language. I mean, that doesn't make sense. English is a language which I use most oftenly in my lifetime, but I'm not that 
great, like, perfect English. I make a lot of mistakes. So when I was rereading it, I noticed a lot of grammar, and that's the part that I kind of want to amend, actually. You can say that I specialize in UHG summaries, which what I do. I mostly do UHG summaries, so essentially there's different seasons, and I think for season 1 to season 8, I think, I'm not so sure, I cannot recall. I did most of the summaries. Some people follow up a little bit over time, then I think my last season was season 11. I really can't recall. I also did UH individual, individual UHC gameplays, and actually I'm most proud of this. Um, I'm gonna go to that page a little bit, but this is what I'm most proud of. This is where I I remember there was a discussion with the team. Pretty much what individual UHC gameplay means was that most of the core group of the UHC actually, I mean, of the cube group actually have their own individual page. So Grayson has their page, Stacy has their page, Tomahawk has his page. And those are fine because they contribute a lot to the cube group. But then over time, we started getting a lot of you know new new members and new people because the cube group tends to invite you know non-members to join the UHCs. And some of the admins wanted to create multiple pages, which is very heavy and very difficult to edit, very difficult to take care of when there's so many you know individual pages. One of my ideas which I came up was I proposed instead of you know creating individual page for you know one-time players, why not have one page dedicated to you know players who aren't who didn't join so consistently, maybe they join like one season or two seasons. And then maybe after like three seasons or more, you can consider making giving them a page, and that is something one of my biggest contribution along with the summary. And yeah, I uh, we're gonna take a look at that because it's that's probably like my favorite part I would say. So these are my major contributions. So you can see these are summaries which um, I did quite a bit. You know, there's a lot of summaries. And then we did a couple of things. So I did summary up the UHC season 13. Um, I didn't do season 9, I skipped season 9. I did up to season 13. We're currently at 20th season now, so clearly I've missed a lot. I don't know if anyone actually picked up on that. I have no idea. Uh, Nisa Cube Hard Drive Core Players. Oh, the Cube Olympics. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Let's take a look at that one first because I think that's pretty light. So Cube Olympics is actually a competition which they had in the Cube SMPs. It was actually pretty fun to watch, to be honest. Um, it's an SMP in-server event organized by the QSMP members on the 30th of September 2014 during the run of QSMP Season 1. Pretty cool, I guess. So we have some events and the protocol. So yeah, this tables it's just from Microsoft Words. Um, Burning Edge DE, we call him, is actually really good at like computer software, soft, you know, codings and stuff like that. So he would do really nicely. In fact, most of the the current layout I would really attribute it to uh, BE because he's the one who actually built the website. They have archery and this is scoring. So uh, yeah, Great Apple Sauce came in first, and the H-Bone Camper Russia came in second. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It's kind of hot today and it's Sunday, which means tomorrow I will work. We're gonna look at the list of cute ultra hardcore players. <gasps> Okay, okay. <laughs> For a moment, I have a heart attack. Because that was, this might be. So the article topic is not fully proofread and most likely contains spelling of punctuation mistakes. Definitely. So we have the list of all the players. All the players are listed here, whether they have their own individual page. So for example, let's take Bayani, who is a pretty well-known, you know, cute member of the whole group. So Bayani has his own page, which is pretty cool. Um, so it's real life, it's ongoing series. Personally, I never really liked doing things like ongoing series and uh, his dead join or whatever because I feel like it gives the admins a lot of work. Like, I remember at one point they even have like, birth, their birth, no, not their birth date. They had that age. I don't know who put in the birth date to be honest. Um, someone put that age and I actually was very discouraged. I mean, I discourage the group from putting it there because I keep telling them that it's very difficult for us to keep monitor things like their, their age, their subscribers count, their videos count because it just doesn't make sense why should we you know, keep count on that, you know? Because we have so many pages to maintain, it doesn't make sense for us to update every one of them. So they have a controversy. Bayani is actually probably one of the more controversial characters in the cube group. You know, but frankly, they were all young, they were all teenagers, you know, hormones are rising, you know, teenagers tend to have a lot of drama. Let's just read, let's just see who we want to read. 
Oh, Star Boy. I remember Star Boy. Oh, he's... He was... He was the one who got stuck at 0.5 hearts at very early of the game, I remember? And he pretty much stuck there and he didn't do anything. And I think he got bored and ex had expressed his loss of interest to Minecraft in high priority to college and work. Now, I remember this part in the sense that I remember when I was developing this page, it wasn't just uh, looking at UHD's perspective, it was actually trying to learn a bit more about each of the players, that means visiting their channels, visiting their forums, visiting their commands, and kind of see who are they, you know, and why Grazer invited them in the first place. So kind of like have some background on them just to make it a bit more interesting. And I remember some of them just really had nothing. He was also not great enough to know how to exit that portal trap. Max has proven proved to be a decent PvP player as he sh has shown his capabilities in fighting the disadvantage to the one fight. Yeah, I remember Mac uh, magnetics of Max were pretty he was a pretty good player. He wasn't like a bad player. And I have mostly positive opinion on him whilst watching the UHC series until when I was doing research to create this page that that my opinion of him kinda drop down to it. So you can read him mess with the YouTube sometime after season 3 with a goodbye video stating that he hated Minecraft a long time ago, which is fine, and that's not a big deal. And he still wanted to post a final video to call out YouTubers who deserves it. Which I find that would be of a low blow if you ask me. But in the end he didn't do it. Um, but in Twitter he did attack a couple of YouTubers including Famous Films and Barbarian. And yeah, um, to me that was a bit of a low blow. He didn't do it in the end, he didn't post anything from what I remember. So it was kinda fine, whatever. Miss Missy Minecraft. And there's one mind girl. I really like Mind Girl, honestly speaking. I really like her perspective. Unfortunately, she deleted her perspective from YouTube. I remember that it was so difficult for me to find information about it because she pretty much removed all all her details. The manga was a part of the season 6 where she was randomly paired with Ash. Randomly paired. There was a controversy by itself. This this is the rank table. This is, I know, sort of the starting where the group, the, the, the fandom really started. It started in a different Minecraft page. I don't remember what page was that. It was a Minecraft page and it got, the cube group got so much attention that eventually BE and that, that whoever agreed to spit the cube SMP from that page. Uh, I don't know. I can't see this. I just want to see who has the, the biggest winner. Three times. Great Apple Sauce ranked first place in season one. Okay, so Great Apple Sauce won first place three times. H Bomb also ranked first place. Hmm. Did H Bomb win three times? Season two was a team group. Season oh yeah, he always wins team match. All of his three times win. H Bomb was was known within the community as the well, within the, the fandom community. He always win, but with a partner. He he never win a solo season before, which Great Apostles have won before, and Talakio has won as both individual and group. Tofu Gaming has also won individual and group. So you can see Talakio rank first place. Tofu Gaming rank first place. So it's only four players, but. Tofu was the one who, who won 2nd, 3rd and 5th and you know the rest is quite further like 7, 10, 10, 14, 2, 8, 12 it was, they were pretty far away from Tofu's uh, ranking but you know which is why Tofu has always been my favourite player unfortunately he didn't play UHD Season 20 uh, but that's fine looking at it after a long time I can imagine how people will be so overwhelmed with all the information it's a lot of information, like, don't get me wrong, like, I'm pretty proud of the group for having so much information, but it's just a lot of information in your face. And, yeah, like, this is just a trivia page. <laughs> and there's so many things! I guess that's pretty much it, you know, I'm just gonna done here. There's really not much things to explore. Actually, there's a lot of things to explore. I really want to go to in detail, but probably not right now, maybe in the future a bit. But yeah, this is... The cube group, I was the admin at one point. I was still, I'm still the admin. Um, I'm glad they haven't revoked that that authority of mine. One reason why I spent so much time and I probably and as you can see I think I spent like at least a year in it just doing this website thing because the community there is pretty strong, you know. There are disagree disagreement, but overall no one really had any bad blood with one another. You know, I can still keep track with some of the former admins like TBT, Zach. Those are the two ones that I really don't get in touch with. I 
playlist you know, every now and then. And yeah, um, the only disappointing part for me was that the cube, this fandom wiki page, was not as recognized as the Reddit page, the cube Reddit page. You know, whenever the cube SMP group will talk about, you know, their fan page or talk about their fandom, they always talk about the Reddit group. They never talk about the the wiki group. And I remember looking at the cube Reddit page, which really isn't much. It's just it's very. I mean, yeah, there's a lot more people there because it's easier to post things, easier to you know say your comments, say your your, your opinions and all that. But the group that actually dedicated themselves to write accurate, like journalistic information is the fandom wiki. And sometimes when you know um, people like Graces or I remember Jay Wong was mentioning about, oh, you know the fan the fan the fandom was so good and so great, and he kept referring they kept referring to the Reddit Reddit Reddit. And then when it comes to talking about the Cube SMP site, um, the this website, it's kind of like pass through. They just they will just be saying something like, "Oh yeah, this page has a lot of information. Yeah, it's pretty impressive." And then next, which I felt like we deserve a bit more recognition, to be honest, because it's a it's a lot of work. Like a lot of work was put into it. Grazer's draw my life. Yeah, I'm not particularly interested in Grazer's draw my life. Grazer has his own drama as well. I haven't keep up with any of the drama, anything that's happened with the cube group for a very long time. I don't think I've subscribed to any one of them. Maybe except Doe. I think she just deleted her YouTube channel. I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna end it here right now at the cube members group, I guess. Uh, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you do, subscribe or like. I'll just see you next time. Goodbye!